dear students now after finishing our uh, lecture on reductive elimination now we will discuss about the migratory insertion and elimination reactions so because these are also important reactions which occur in the uh, this homogeneous catalytic cycles so as uh, we have studied oxidative addition then reductive elimination likewise this migratory insertion reactions are very important part of homogeneous catalytic processes so in this lecture we will try to understand uh, what is migratory insertion so in case of migratory insertion what kind of reaction takes place in case of migratory insertion reactions an anion ligand and a neutral ligand okay again listen an anionic ligand and a neutral ligand they which are cis to each other their positions should be cisoidal and uh, they should be at cis position one is anion and other is neutral these two ligands they are present on a metal center okay so these are present in a metal center one ligand is anion and other is neutral they are at the cis position to each other and they are present in the say at the same metal center when these two ligands they couple together they generate a new coordinated anionic ligand okay one anion and other is neutral two ligands which are present on the same metal center and they are at the cis position to each other they couple together to generate a new coordinated anionic ligand then this reaction is known as migratory insertion reaction okay so this is migratory insertion reaction i am showing you the whole picture about migratory insertion so you can see anion ligand and neutral ligand which are cis to each other on a central metal atom the couple and generate a new coordinated anionic ligand this is known as migratory insertion this migratory insertion reaction it is very important because it occurs during catalytic cycle of various reaction hence it is necessary to know about the migratory insertion reactions so it is it occurs in hydroformylation reaction in monsanto acidic acidic processes and other catalytic processes so it is important uh, in industrial point of view because these catalytic processes they are used to uh, to generate some industrially important compounds so it is necessary to have a knowledge of migratory insertion reaction now with the help of this example i will explain about migratory insertion reaction this is a six coordinated manganese compound in which manganese ox is present as one manganese one it is an 18 electron system okay so in this reaction you can see that this ligand is anionic ligand and this is neutral ligand okay i have told that one anionic and other is neutral ligand they are attached to the same metal center so if they are present on the same metal center and they are cis at the cis position to each other then these two will combine to form a new anionic ligand so this cs3 will combine with the co and form coch3 the cocs3 is again an anionic ligand 
so this anionic ligand will couple with this neutral ligand and form generate a new anionic ligand and thus it will create a vacant site with this metal center okay to uh, to to make a stable this uh, this uh, a redu uh, this migratory insertion product we have to add some trapping agent so that this trapping agent will act on this vacant site and then it can form a more stable compound because this five coordinated species is actually very reactive because it has a vacant site so we have to use some trapping agent some ligands which can bind to this vacant site and uh, the back reaction cannot be generated the 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 back reaction or reverse reaction of migratory insertion reaction is elimination reaction okay then this again it can eliminate from this anionic ligand and it can attach to here so this is an elimination reaction so like uh, this migratory insertion reaction is also have its reverse reaction that is elimination reaction because this five coordinated product is very reactive product so we have to take care uh, of this vacant site and add a trapping ligand to this uh, this uh, intermediate immediately so that it can form a stable product okay so in this migratory insertion you can see that no change in the oxidation state so oxidation state of the metal will remain the same electron system you can you can see that it is 18 electron after uh, after uh, the coupling of this anionic and this neutral ligand it becomes 16 electron species and after uh, the attacking uh, attack of this trapping ligand with the vacant site it again convert into 18 electron system so migratory insertion is the coupling of an anionic and a neutral ligand that are attached in the suicidal position on the same metal center and they generate a new anionic ligand then no change in the oxidation state one anion one anion okay so no change in oxidation state it is known as migratory insertion and its reverse reaction is called as elimination reaction so this can unstabilize if we can if we not add this trapping ligand so to stabilize this intermediate species this compound we have to add some trapping agents okay so i think you can understand about the migratory insertion reactions so uh, for this migratory insertion reaction there are some characteristics of metal center and uh, these trapping agents and these ligands so what are that characteristic so the characteristics of the migratory insertion reaction are as follows oxidation state of metal center does not change except alkylidenes okay so oxidation state of the metal center does not change but in case of alkylidenes we will uh, we will see the example there the change in the oxidation state will takes place the two groups that will couple they must be on the cis position okay without uh, cis position cisoidal position they cannot migratory insert they cannot show migratory insertion reaction the trapping ligand is required to coordinate the vacant site to stop the back reaction okay so we have to use some trapping ligand to coordinate the vacant site that is created during migratory insertion reaction and which will stop the back reaction uh, the anionic ligands during uh, in the migratory insertion reactions may be h minus r minus ar minus rco minus or, or, or this o2 minus they may be the uh, anionic ligand and the neutral ligands could be co alkenes alkynes carbenes these two type of ligands they couple together to form a new anionic ligand so anionic ligands range is this and neutral ligand range is this now so there are some factors which affects the 
migratory insertion reaction that accelerate the migratory insertion reactions that are some electronic effects so so what are these electronic effects we will see how they affects the rate of migratory insertion reaction so the electric electronic effects includes the electron density on metal set so electron deficient metal favors migratory insertion reaction okay if the metal center is electron deficient then migratory insertion reaction will going to occur like uh, the co alkyl migratory insertion require what kind of things if the metal center is electron deficient then in it cannot back donate electron to carbonyl actually carbonyl is a pi acceptor ligand it has tendency to accept electrons from a metal center but if an uh, a metal center is electron deficient then how it can donate its electrons to carbonyl so if cannot back donate its electron to carbonyl then it there will be the, the the electron density on the carbon will be less so it becomes electrophilic in nature okay because there is less electron density so it becomes more electrophilic and which is going to couple with this co that is an anionic species so an anionic species will with will easily couple with an electrophilic species because it has low electron density and an anionic species has a high electron density so then this anionic ligand that is ch3 it can easily migrate to co so this is the electronic effect behind the migratory insertion reaction you can again see this electronic effect on the migratory insertion reactions so this is the gist you can see if a metal center is electron deficient then uh, the metal center cannot back donate electron to the carbonyl center so that this carbonyl center becomes electrophilic in nature less electron density will be there so that it can easily couple with an anionic ligand to proceed migratory insertion reaction now what should be the property of a trapping ligand it is also a kind of electronic effect so the uh, trapping ligand should be strong coordinating because it is going to coordinate with the vacant site okay so it should easily donate its electron pairs to the vacant site so this pme3 in in this series this pme3 has uh, the the highest tendency to donate its electron pairs to the metal center and thus causes strong coordination this co is a pi acceptor ligand so this pi acceptor ligand can uh, the it can back donate the electrons from metal so it will not be a good trapping ligand a good trapping ligand should coordinate strongly with the vacant site of metal to uh, to accelerate the rate of migratory insertion now what about the anionic ligand so anionic ligand should be electron rich alkyl group because if it is electron rich then it will act as a nucleophile and attack on the the electrophilic carbonyl group coupled with the elect Uh, new, uh, the electrophilic carbonyl group so it should have it should be more electron rich so an alkyl group will be more rich as compared to a phenyl group so it will uh, be a best anionic ligand for a migratory insertion reaction now we will discuss about the mechanism of migratory insertion so migratory insertion may be of two types because there are two words one is migratory and other is insertion 
So in one kind of uh, mechanism we can say that there is migration of one ligand to the other ligand and uh, one mechanism can be proposed in which one ligand can insert in the second ligand. So first we will discuss the uh, migration. So we will discuss the mechanism of migratory insertion and in this mechanism we will discuss about the migration first. This example can explain the migra migration. So in this example we can see that this anionic ligand can migrate to this neutral ligand and thus it can create a new anionic ligand and uh, in uh, this vacant site can be created at this anionic ligand and thus the electron count will decrease as two ligands will be converted into a single ligand and there is one vacant site so the electron count will reduce. So this is a kind of migration. We can also explain this migratory insertion reaction as insertion in which we will find that this neutral ligand can insert into the anionic ligand. Thus can create a vacant site at this nuclear neutral ligand and the, the the product will be the same okay so here also the formation of COCH3 and the electron count will decrease so this product and the product shown in the migratory mechanism were similar okay but here the the insertion takes place and uh, in the previous one the migration takes place actually in in general migration is the most occurring mechanism hence we called it as migratory insertion not insertion migration we called it as migratory insertion because migration is the most occurring mechanism of migratory insertion now we will see some examples of migratory insertion reactions these migratory rea uh, insertion reactions can be explained by three insertion reactions alpha migratory insertion, beta migratory insertion and phosgen migratory insertion. So we will uh, one by one we will explain all these three kind of migratory insertion. This is alpha migratory insertion. This is also known as carbene migratory insertion. So in this case you can see that here this is a carbene and this X group is migrating to this carbene group okay then we will get this kind of product in this migratory insertion reaction the X may be H minus R minus OR minus or halide and this is also known as a reductive coupling reaction okay so in this kind of migratory insertion reaction this X is mono anionic ligand this is mono anionic because it may be H minus it may be R minus it may be OR minus it may be halide and this CH2 is a dianionic ligand okay so it is a dianionic ligand. When this dianionic ligand it couple with this monoanionic ligand, then it will form a monoanionic ligand that is CH2X. So there will be reduction of uh, reduction of metal center and oxidation state will change by minus 1 because here two here there is one dianionic ligand and one monoanionic ligand so they will couple to form one monoanionic ligand so there will be change of oxidation state of metal center by 2 units so it will be equals to minus 2 so we can say that in in this kind of migratory insertion there is change in oxidation state so in this reaction you can see that a mono 
anionic ligand will couple with a dianionic ligand to form a new mono anionic ligand this will change the oxidation state of metal center and thus it is also called as reductive coupling reaction okay while in previous uh, case we have studied that one anionic and one neutral ligand they react to form a new anionic ligand hence there was no change in oxidation state but in this case i have also um, written in the conditions of migratory insertion that except one uh, one uh, compound uh, there will be that is alkylidene or carbene actually that is alkylidene or carbene where the oxidation state change will takes place during migratory insertion otherwise in all cases there will be no change in oxidation state so that will be the case of alkylidene or carbene where the, the change in oxidation state take, takes place in migratory insertion so it is alpha migratory insertion you can see that this is the alpha position to metal center so this will sh this will shift to the alpha position uh, of this carbon atom so this is alpha migratory insertion so again i am repeating that in alpha uh, migratory insertion mono anionic ligand and one dianionic ligand they couple to form mono anionic ligand okay now what is elimination because i have already told you that uh, elimination is the reverse of migratory insertion so reverse of alpha migratory insertion will be alpha hydride elimination actually a, a, a alpha hydride elimination and beta hydride elimination we have already studied in the uh, stability of transition metal alkyls here also I am, I am giving you the example that the reverse of alpha migratory insertion is hydride alpha hydride elimination because elimination is the reverse of migratory insertion so you can see this example in which you can see that this uh, this this species will add up to this CS3 and it can abstract this hydride from CS3. So this will abstract hydride from this CS3 group. Yeah, in this step, hydride abstract and abstraction will take place. So that this complex will become positively charged, and this CS3 will become CH2. Okay. Now this becomes CH2 because it it has abstracted the hydride from CS3. Now, what happened? The CH3 group will migrate on this CH2 group. This is migratory insertion. So, this will migrate to the here and thus it will form such kind of a species. CH2, CH3. Okay. CH2, CH3. So, this will migrate. This is a migratory insertion reaction. So, this becomes ch2 ch3 now reductive elimination alpha reductive elimination will be the opposite of this so i if if the this vacant site cannot be protected by using trapping ligand then this reaction can be reversed and it will results in the alpha hydride elimination so one hydride from here from alpha position it abstract and go to that position so again this is a reactive species if no trapping ligand is there then it will again undergoes elimination reaction which is opposite to the migratory insertion reaction and it will undergo the alpha hydride elimination and thus it can form this product okay so in case of uh, the uh, the reverse of alpha migratory insertion is alpha hydride elimination because if we do not protect the vacant site during migratory insertion reactions then it the, the reaction can be reversed so it can be reversed so that alpha hydride elimination will takes place 
Now the second uh, type of migratory insertion is beta migratory insertion and it is also known as alkene migratory insertion. Uh, it is important step of many polymerization reactions which you will study in the homogeneous catalytic cycles. You will uh, see in a, in in a lot of reactions uh, which are having homogeneous catalytic cycles. So this is the beta migratory insertion reaction. First you take the screenshot of this reaction. Then, then I will explain point by point uh, this beta hydride, uh, this beta migratory insertion. Okay. Now see the first step of this migratory insertion. So this is a complex uh, compound in which there is one vacant site with this JDR. So in this vacant site, this alkene can be added. Okay. So we, we added this alkene and this alkene when added to this vacant site. This is shown by the black color. Okay. Then there will be migratory insertion. So migratory insertion at beta position. So it this CS3 will migrate and uh, this insertion will take place at beta position. Now you will find that this CS3 after insertion, migratory insertion on this double bond, it will create such kind of chain. This is CH2 double bond CH2 where this CS3 ins migrate and insert. Okay, this black is this one. So it, the hydrogenation, the, the polymerization process starts. Okay, after this another vacant site will be created at this CS3. Okay, this vacant site will create it. So again this olefin can bind at this vacant site. Then you can see this olefin on this olefin again this group this alkyl group can so beta migratory insertion and after beta migratory insertion you can see that we have added two olefins so we have added four carbon atoms. And one CS3 was already there. Okay. So after this, we will get such type of chain. They give one, two, three, four. So one olefin and the other olefin. And this CS3 came from the migratory insertion. So uh, this is uh, so in this way the polymerization takes place and the chain will grow. Because again there is a vacant site. So on this vacant site, another olefin can attack. So, in this way, migratory, uh, uh, with the help of this beta migratory insertion, polymerization reaction will proceed. Okay. So, this beta migratory insertion is the important step in the polymerization reactions. Reverse of beta Migratory insertion is beta hydride elimination which we have already studied in the uh, decomposition pathways of transition metal alkynes. So uh, this is the site of migratory insertion. This is the this is a site toward direction towards migratory insertion. So if we see uh, this uh, this uh, M is bonded to this olefin and after going through this intermediate state this will migrate beta migratory insertion reaction will takes place and this M will bind to this carbon atom and this hydrogen will bind to this hydrogen atom okay so this is beta hydride elimination uh, beta hydride uh, this is beta uh, hydride migratory insertion and this backward reaction is beta elimination. So if uh, one hydrogen from here and metal from here, this is the beta position from metal center. So this, uh, this beta hydrogen and this metal center 
they will eliminate and then they form MH and this olefin. So the backward direction reaction is beta elimination while this forward direction reaction is beta migratory insertion. So opposite of migratory insertion is elimination reaction. Now the third type of reaction, migratory insertion, is frozen migratory insertion. This is the example of frozen migratory insertion. In this complex, you can see that this is a complex in which we have added this H plus uh, ion. This is in presence of acidic medium. This H plus will add to this metal center. Okay. There is an olefin and this hydrogen is present okay so this will migrate to the uh, this uh, this uh, olefin okay this olefin and now during this migratory insertion you will find that this ch bond this h will migrate and insert on the beta position of this olefin okay this will bind to this center this is beta migratory insertion also so this will insert on this position and simultaneously this ch bond will join with the metal center so if a hydrogen ch bond of a ligand it is joined with the metal center then it is known as agostic interaction of this ch bond of a ligand with the metal complex is known as agostic agostic okay so this kind of migratory insertion is known as frozen migratory insertion where there is agostic uh, what is agostic? Agostic is the interaction of CH bond of an ligand of a ligand with the metal complex. This you can see here. This is the metal center, and this is the CH bond of the ligand, which is interacting. The CH bond of a ligand is interacting with the metal complex this is known as agostic hydrogen agostic hydrogen so actually interaction of ch bond on the ligand with the metal complex is known as agostic and it is known as frozen migratory insertion so in this way you have studied about migratory insertion and elimination reaction and I think uh, from this lecture, you will able to understand what is migratory insertion and the reverse uh, reaction of this migratory insertion is elimination. And in this migratory insertion reaction, generally, one, uh, uh, one, uh, this uh, uh, anionic ligand will couple with a uh, neutral ligand to form an anionic ligand except carbenes or alkylidines. So, in case of alkylidines, there is a change in oxidation state of metal center because in that case, one anionic ligand will couple with the dianionic ligand to form a uh, monoanionic ligand. And uh, these uh, migratory insertion reactions may be alpha migratory insertion, may be beta migratory insertion or may be frozen migratory insertion. And this beta migratory insertion is very important because it is a part of polymerization reaction. So in this way, we are, we are able to uh, give the answer regarding what are oxidative addition reactions, what are reductive elimination reactions and what are migratory insertion reactions, what are elimination reactions. So you have seen that oxidative addition is reverse of that of reductive elimination. Likewise, this migratory insertion is a reverse of elimination reactions. A migratory insertion and elimination reactions, they can occur simultaneously in the same complex. While oxidative addition and reductive elimination reactions, they cannot occur simultaneously the reaction can take place only in one direction in that case in case of migratory insertion and elimination they can occur simultaneously if we can we, we will not use any trapping ligand during the migratory insertion reaction so in this way these are very important reactions 
which are the inter, uh, intermediate reactions in the homogeneous uh, catalytic cycles. So after this we will able to understand the homogeneous catalyst, catalysts and their catalytic cycles. So thank you very much.